Good afternoon, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, and today is day 64. So, super exciting announcement just made at Family Reunion. Super excited to be here in Dallas and see that happen live. And uh, customizable smart plans are now available within your KW Command account, and that's today's video. So, we're going to walk through it. Smart plans here on the fourth icon down, the diploma. So, we're going to click on that icon to get into the smart plan applet. As you can see here at the top right hand corner, we've got a button that says create. So we're going to click on create to create our custom smart plan. And we can go ahead and name that plan. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've been doing some teaching on DTD2 uh, and 555. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that together. Uh, what that is, is basically it's a quarterly call plan that also incorporates um, during that quarter additional social media touches and text so it'll make sense as i roll that out here in just a second so i'm going to call it dtd2 and 555 i'm going to click on apply and i get taken into the customizer here so i can start creating uh, my custom smart plan so the first thing that i want to do is have a call right so i want to make a call so basically we're going to just put quarterly call for, and then I can come over here. These are merge fields, so I can actually click on merge field, and I want to put in contact first name, contact last name, and I'm just going to put a dash, and then I'm going to put the phone number. So it's right there, so it'll actually show up in the task manager, their name and their phone number, really easy. That's going to be due today. So that's the first thing that's going to happen with this custom smart plan, is that it's going to tell me to make a call. Then I want it to wait 30 days. So I'm gonna come and click on set delay. I can scroll down here and the max is max delay is 30. So I can just click on maximum of 30 days. So I'll just type in there 30. The next thing I want it to do is create a task for me. And in this plan, it's going to be a touch task and that's gonna be a social media interaction. So I'm gonna call them once a quarter. I'm gonna interact with them on social media once a quarter. And then I'm also going to send them a text. So I'm gonna set a delay of 30 more days, right? So I can come down here and do 30 days, and then I can come back up and I can say send SMS MMS. Here's the cool thing, because my Twilio account is already connected, I can say that this is a static text and it'll send out the same exact text every time, or I can do dynamic and actually have a variety of text. So each time it goes through the plan, it'll vary it. So for right now, I'm just gonna do a static text and that text is gonna say, hey, and I'm gonna go ahead and put, right, merge field, contact first name. It's Marty Miller with Keller Williams. And I spelled that wrong, sorry guys. I just wanted to touch base and see if you had any real estate questions or needs I could help with, All right? So this is actually gonna be the automated text that goes out. It's gonna fire automatically after the 60 day delay, right? So it was 30 days after the call, I'm gonna do something on social media. 30 days after that, I'm gonna send this text out automatically. And then I want it to wait 30 more days. So I'm gonna click on set delay again. Then I can come down, right? So we're gonna make sure that that's a 30 day delay. And then I'm gonna restart the plan. So I can just click on restart flow. Now when I come down to the bottom, you can see I could restart this flow and I could go through it one time, all the way up to six additional times, or I could just do it unlimited. In this case, I want it to repeat unlimited. So this is basically going to be my customized quarterly call plan that's actually going to have a call every month, a social media interaction every month, and then a text every single month. So that way, not every single month, every single quarter. So once month one is a call, month two is a social media interaction, month three is a text. So essentially at the end of the year, I will have touched these people 12 times in three different methods. So that's how you set up a custom smart plan. You can see I can move these items if I want. You can move up, move down, right? So kind of go through that. You can say, hey, I wanna save this the way that I have it. You can come up here, right? This is how you want to save the actual smart plan. Uh, smart plan total duration cannot exceed 90 days. So what did we do? We did day 31, so did 91. So let's come down here. We'll just say, all right, we'll do this 29 days. There we go. 
And now we can save that. And you can see all changes to Smart Plan have been saved. So I can come in and turn the plan on in my list if I choose to. I can actually start adding contacts to it. You can see this is a 90 day plan with seven steps that includes three touches. So you can come through here and you can make these, I mean, it could be literally 90 days with, I don't know, you know, 40 touches if you wanted, uh, 40 steps, something along those. I mean, it's fully customizable. You can see you have the ability to send out emails, make a call, create a task, uh, in addition to add a smart plan as well. So those are some other options available. So this is super exciting. Now I can just come back into my list, my smart plans. You'll see this new DTD2 plan at the very bottom of my list. Here it is, right? And so if I can say, yes, I want it activated. I'm gonna go ahead and click on add contacts and I can literally start adding contacts to this smart plan just by finding the people that I wanna have in there. I'll just add myself right now. Uh, this is probably the one I wanna add. And I'm gonna click on add to smart plan. I can also add people to smart plan by tags as well. And I have the choice of whether I want to start this person right now or do I want to start them on the future. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I want to start this right now. It's going to say, here is your smart plan. Here's the one that I just built out, right? So as soon as I start them, it's going to, um, oops, I moved that around. So I wouldn't want to start them here, but make sure. And this is a good thing because it tells you this is what the steps are. Remember, I moved this. So actually, it should be a phone call and then wait 30 days and then a touch task 30 days and then an automated text and it waits 29 days and then it starts over. So if I do wanna edit the plan, I can come get out of that. I'm gonna come over here to the pencil. So this is a great example. Come back into the plan, it's like, oops, the call was supposed to be at the top, right? So let's move the call up. So now you can see the call is there. Let me click on save. Now I can come back in to the actual plan and add someone to it. And you'll see that it has now changed the order within the actual smart plan itself. So I'm just gonna put myself on it very quickly, show you what that looks like. Here we go. And this one is the one I want on, add to smart plan. I want that to happen now and I can click on confirm. It's gonna say, these are the steps. Is this the one you wanna add? Now you can see that's been reordered and I can click on confirm. And I have now added myself to that custom smart plan. So guys, sky's the limit. You could create smart plans for your buyers, for your sellers, for your VIPs, just random lead generation based smart plans. I mean, so many possibilities and it's super exciting. So that's today's 64th day of the 66 day challenge here live from Family Reunion. I hope everyone here is having a great time. And those of you that can't be here, I hope you're watching it on the live stream and kind of catching up from there as well. As always, I look forward to talking to you very soon. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much.